at health care town halls this week. And Carrie Lee, I guess tonight it was Congressman Joe Sestak's turn. Donna was indeed this evening. Congressman Joe Sestak was in Philadelphia to hold his own meeting. So did the fireworks fly? The big question tonight. Fox 29's Seanette Wilson was there. Seanette, what happened? Well, Carrie Lee, actually, Sestak did a pretty good job at crowd control on his own. There were two standout uh, outbursts to me in my mind. One was regarding uh, the cost of the plan. The second involving whether the plan is good enough uh, for Sestak to involve even his own family in it. And actually, it wasn't as bad as uh, the past town hall meetings that we've seen, and he was able to address those issues head on. The debate over the president's health care reform plan couldn't wait. There are enough people in my family who are on Medicare. Opinions flared as many waited in this long line to get inside for a town hall meeting on the issue. The line of mostly supporters. The opportunity of everybody should be ensured, regardless of what they are. May be sold, but not content. So I'd like some clarity on some definition. Joe Sestak, now also a candidate for U.S. Senate, worked the crowd before going inside, and the opposition closed in. I answer right, one yeah, thing. Go ahead. But you promised to come. Larry Summers. I'm only going to answer if you promise to come inside. Yes, I will All promise right, to go in. inside. That woman asked the first question about why Sestek says this is the best plan financially. Why are you supporting, uh, you say, oh, even for our pocketbooks? I think that's the first thing that is on the mind of yourself. We all pay for the uninsured if you're an individual about four hundred dollars more things were for the most part calm although this man stirred things up when he spoke out of turn in line Sestak trying his best to keep things under control hey he's all right oh he's okay don't worry i know chris hey hey, hey come on guys gentlemen who's this right here this is liam liam leo liam. leo liam come on leave him alone i know him all right, and back here live, look at who we have with us right now. We just came out of a soundbite involving the gentleman, Chris, who was uh, trying to ask you a question. Start up a little bit of an outburst. Uh, was the tone of the meeting uh, what you expected as well? You didn't have as many outbursts as ones we've seen in previous meetings this week. but No, it was a, it was a great meeting. Look, Chris and I go way back. He's in a, uh, a post, uh, uh, and we're fellow veterans. We sit down. He has my cell phone. He called me earlier today to make sure he could get in, and he has frustrations. And it's my obligation to make sure I explain to him what we're really doing. There is misrepresentations out there. There is a lot of angst, a lot of anxiety among Americans, and we are servants, public servants, and we have to explain it to them. All right, well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak thank with you us. See much. you back inside. Thanks. All right, so reporting live from Broad Street, Shana Wilson, Fox 29 News. Back to you guys. All right, Shana, thank you. Brand new exclusive Rasmussen Reports polling shows Joe Sestak is gaining on Arlen Specter among likely Democratic primary voters. Right now, Specter leads Sestak by 13 percentage points. Two months ago, the Specter margin was 19 percentage points. Things changing a little bit. Donna Thomas, only time will tell who wins the Senate seat. It's